In this design of experiment video lecture series, I'm going to show you how to do a two sample t test or uh, um, what is the application of two sample t test. Um, so uh, when you are comparing uh, two populations or uh, two samples, in this case, we are comparing the height of US male and the height of US uh, female. Uh, and then um, I use this example uh, to make the point. We know that the males are taller than female. Uh, so we know that as a fact. In that kind of situation, you never do a statistics because that's a deterministic fact. We really don't need a statistics for that. The reason why I use this example, because you know, so when you see the statistical probability values in the hypothesis testing, does that make sense what you know, um, according to the data you collected. So imagine that we collected this data from uh, 40 um, males and 40 females. And this is, this is how the data look like. Now, so step number one is the introduction. So step number one is the introduction. Hypothesis uh, in the introduction, you write the basically write the hypothesis so null hypothesis null hypothesis is basically ex expressed in h0 uh, and then we can write this as always null hypothesis is equal um, so the mean uh, height of um, US male is equal to the mean height of the US female. The alternative hypothesis is basically the point you try to make. It's a bias hypothesis H subscript A alternative hypothesis. So um, in this case we know a little bit more information that males are taller then female in that kind of situation we don't have to write uh, not equal we can make a hypothesis uh, like this males are taller than female like that so a little bit more uh, precise uh, hypothesis now method we have used uh, step number two is the method we have used we are going to use called two sample uh, t-test as I have discussed before it is difficult to determine the appropriate method you should um, consult a statistician to determine the most appropriate method uh, which is sometimes tricky and then the results and then the step number four is the contextual conclusion so in the method part we're going to do t-test excel has direct function to get the probability from a two sample t-test so we're gonna basically directly get the probability using excel so p-value we can calculate the p-value from a two sample t-test you can simply write equals t-test and then it will ask for the data set one comma data set two comma and then tells that is defined by your alternative hypothesis now we have a situation where this is just one tail so greater than so the right side of the t distribution so there's one tail one and then there are three types of t uh, two sample t test one is paired and then other is unpaired um, so in this case it's not paired we'll give you one other example what is paired then you will understand why this is not paired and then if it's non-paired data just a regular two sample t-test you could assume equal variance and unequal variance equal variance is easy to manually calculate but um, I would say if you have Excel just pick unequal variance don't worry about assuming equal variance because it was done it's easy to calculate um, the 
if you want to do it manually the equal variance formula is a little bit easier to calculate than the unequal variance uh, because we have excel we don't have to worry, worry about that so always use unequal variance if you have excel so this is the probability value so um, this value is basically 0 0.004 four zeros and then some numbers so you can see 0 0.000004 so that means four out of hundred thousand trial there will be a situation where you will see this null hypothesis will happen so the probability of happening the null hypothesis is too low so p-value as i have explained was that video where i explained what is p-value p-value is basically the um, p-value is the probability for the null hypothesis to happen now we can do write down the result compare our um, the um, the level of significance we can compare with that so we can say we reject or in other words we can say we accept the alternative whatever way easy for you accept the alternative let me write this way we reject the null hypothesis or we can say accept the alternative because the p-value which is 0 0.0004 is smaller than the level of significance 0.05 so we are accepting the alternative hypothesis because the p-value is smaller now the contextual conclusion would be basically the uh, rewrite the null hypothesis for general people um, so we can say statistically the male u.s male is taller than the u.s female now once again uh, we really don't need a statistics to test uh, or to uh, prove that males are taller than females. This is a deterministic fact. For deterministic facts, you don't need a statistics. I use this example to explain the p-value, what's the meaning of that, and what do we do. So we are saying that p-value is very low for this null hypothesis to happen. So it's the alternative that is going to happen. So then you say, yeah, so U.S. male is taller than female. Um, so that's it about two simple t-test in the next video we'll see pair t-test